hace falta marihuana que fumar la cucaracha, la cucaracha ya no puede caminar porque no tiene, porque le falta marihuana que fumar una cucaracha pinta le dijo una colorada quien se meta con mi patria se lo lleva a la chiflada una cucaracha pinta le dijo una colorada Hola and welcome to CultureCast. In this episode, we will be discussing the history and relations of La Cucaracha and the Mexican Revolution. Many recognize the song as being played by mariachi bands at the Mexican restaurants. Hearing it in Disney, learning it in class, but failed to recognize the satirical commentary on political and social problems or disputes. We're gonna jump right into the lyrics. The most well-known chorus is the cockroach, the cockroach doesn't want to travel on because he doesn't, oh no he doesn't, have any marijuana to smoke. The original verses translated into English are as follows. When a fellow loves a maiden and that maiden doesn't love him, it's the same as when a bald man finds a comb upon the highway. All the maidens are of pure gold, all the married girls are silver, all the widows are of copper, and old women merely tin. My neighbor across the highway used to be called Donna Clara, and if she has not died, likely that's her name tomorrow. All the girls up at Las Vegas are most awful tall and skinny, but they're worse for plaintive pleading than the souls in purgatory. All the girls here in the city don't know how to give you kisses, while the ones from Albuquerque stress their neck to avoid misses. All the girls from Mexico are pretty as a flower, and they talk so very sweetly, fill your heart up with love. One thing makes me laugh most hearty. Pancho Villa with no shirt on, now the caristas, car carinistas beat it because Villa's men are coming. Fellow needs an automobile if he undertakes the journey to the place which Zapata ordered, the famous convention. So where did this song come from? It is actually a corrido, which is an old form of a folk song created by the people of the lower class, and typically tells a story about their hardships with witty and critical commentary. Uh, it's passed down through tradition, and different verses can be added or removed to make the songs more relatable. <coughs> Excuse me and relevant to what's currently happening. So therefore it has multiple authors where people can contribute different things. And it originated in the 15th century Spain during the Reconquista, which is a long lasting war between the Christian kingdoms and the Muslim Moors. And it's believed that the Arab sailors created the song. Song had its origins amongst the Moors that sang about their surrender and servitude to the Spanish military. The lyrics are explicitly talking about the Moors having to sweep for the Spanish infantry. This early version of the song is comparable to the prison song sung by inmates while they're incarcerated. It was an outlet of feelings and thoughts that could be repeated throughout the day while working. Now there was a transition at this point from the pre-revolution verses to the post-revolution verses. Kind of the mascot of the song is Pancho Villa. Some of you are wondering who is Pancho Villa. If you look at this picture, he's the one holding the motorcycle and he was a Mexican Revolutionary General, originally named Doroteo Arango Arambula. He was born on June 5, 1878, and many people, including himself, considered him an outlaw. He said that when he was 16, he shot an older man who was the son of a big landowner, and that man had tried to rape Pancho's younger sister, Martina. Lyrics for La Cucaracha exist commemorating 19th century conflicts in both Spain and Mexico. But the most famous verse Verses were written during the Mexican Revolution of 1910 to 1920. One of the stories with the Cucaracha was referring to Pancho Villa's car and his soldiers who surrounded it to make it look like a cockroach. The lyrics to the song during the pre-revolutionary era expresses the conflict between Spain and Mexico, but the lyrics were not as popular as the lyrics from the revolutionary era. The revolutionary era contained lyrics that involved the war, the government, and Pancho Villa's and his army. Some say that the cockroach in the song is representing Pancho Villa's car and the soldiers hanging off the side of it, which made the entire thing look like a cockroach. The car was also known to break down. Others related the song more to the army as they always smoked marijuana before they went to war and they couldn't fight without smoking. It was also related to the Mexican president, Vittoriano Huerta, as he was ridiculed for being drunk and high. This song is used as a political satire. So we're briefly going to do a quick rundown of different stanzas of the song. There are different versions representing different figures in the revolution, um, including Diaz, Madero, Villa, Zapata, and Carranza. 
The Huertas anti-Carranza stanza includes general complaints about the hardships of war. Its translation is, and the Carrancistas are on full retreat, and the Huertista jackals have them caught by the tails. At this time, Huerta was leading the federal troops and overtook the presidency by executing President Madero and Vice President Suarez. Governor Carranza rejected Huerta and preferred Madero's ruling. This led to great conflict because one side wanted to live by the rules of previous leader, uh, while the other wanted to live how the current leader was ruling. The Zapatista version is, a, is about the lives of the people during the war. The translation of the verses are, hear the pl with pleasure these verses, listen carefully, now the poor cockroach doesn't even have 50 cents. The cockroach in this case could be considered all of the farmers who were low class and didn't have any money. The Zapata were fighting for reform so that the farmers would be superior to the city workers. Also, former President Diaz was exiled to France and no longer had anything with them. Everything has been very expensive in this revolution, selling milk by the ounce and coal by the gram. One thing makes you want to giggle, Pancho Villa with no shirt on. Carrancistas run away because Villa's men are on their way now. Zapata and Villa originally sided with Carranza, but conflict arose and they all divided. The Carrancistas were being backed by America, which Villa ended up attacking in New Mexico. There are also some alternative stanzas that talk about more than one person. For example, the one who perseveres achieves, tells a saying, what I want is revenge for the death of Madero. Initially, after Madero was elected as president, there were common goals, but then there became differences and shifting alliances, and Madero was concerned with political changes, while Zapata and Villa were fighting for social and agrarian changes, which they wanted increased value for uh, farm life. Everyone fights for the chair, which gives them lots of money in the north, lives the villa, and the south, lives the pata. During this time, this lyric was written, differing sides were fighting, and everyone wanted to become president. President Diaz was in office for 30 years before Madera decided to run against him in 1910, which followed by Diaz imprisoning him and deeming himself as a victor. Madera, in turn, with supporters, which included Zilla and Zapata, overthrew Diaz. After Zapata attacked attack New Mexico, his troops returned south and redivided land to the farmers. However, Madero was not a good leader, and his support quickly deteriorated after General Victoriano Huerta set in motion a coup d'etat, which was to overthrow Madero and Vice President Jose Maria Pino Suarez, Suarez were both assassinated la less than a week later. Much like with a lot of well-known or popular songs, uh, La Cucaracha was open to several misconceptions, one of which being that the term roach from cockroach is now a slang term for marijuana, more specifically the butt or the end of a joint as a result of the song. And the famous show Fairly Odd Parents that is featured on Nickelodeon that is a kid's show shows Cosmo dressed up in Spanish garb, dancing around, singing the song, but with the lyrics, La Cucaracha, La Cucaracha, Enchilada, blah, blah, blah. La Cucaracha, La Cucaracha, and a burrito, blah, blah, blah. Which, he kind of adds his own lyrics, just like everyone else before, but they're a little bit racist. It's also comparable to Kid Spot, because we take songs that are borderline offensive and explicit and make them kid-friendly. Kids Bop does pop songs that are extremely explicit and turns them into songs that kids can listen to by just slightly altering the lyrics. This is comparable to how we changed La Cucaracha into a kid song. So the three main reasons the Mexican Revolution started was because of the dictatorship-like ruling of President Diaz, which lasted for over 30 years, the exploitation and poor treatment of workers, and the great disparity between the rich and the poor. This piece is also comparable to political cartoons and campaign ads. It has the idea of satire against the opponent, which is f seen frequently in political cartoons and campaign ads. It has similes and metaphors comparing someone to something else, which makes it like a political cartoon, and it's like a political ad in the way that it talks negatively about the opposition, and it's seen today in political ads. It can also be compared to songs and nursery rhymes like Hokey Pokey, Ring Around the Rosie, and was even compared to this um, Yankee Doodle Dandy, or whatever. Um, these songs are upbeat and happy, but they have very, like, dark themes, like the Ring Around the Rosie is actually about the Black Plague, whereas La Cucaracha is actually about marijuana. 
So the rhythm is pretty important to uh, the song with Cucaracha. The measure is five-fourths meter, which imitates the cockroach's five-legged gait from losing one of its legs and struggling to walk with the rest. The upbeat in the song was removed from the second half of the six-fourth measure. There's also irony in the song because it's seemed like it's a children's song, uh, but actually pertains to drugs. They refer to the cockroach, the cockroach's lack of marijuana and his need to smoke, he being Huerta. Each verse uses the cockroach as a symbol. For example, in the Villas verse, they are referring to Fuejistas as a cockroach and make fun of him needing drugs to function. While in Fuejistas verses, they are referring to the Carranza and his followers as the cockroaches. Also, they refer to themselves as jackals chasing away the Carranza. Some additional theories as to why cockroach or cucaracha was chosen for the song include La Cucaracha was a term for women with the name of Cuca, short, some reason short for Maria de Refugio, which was a common name in Mexico and oftentimes referred to the soldaderas or the female soldiers or workers in the Mexican Revolution. The name also pokes a little bit of fun at the Mexican soldiers, implying that in order to fight properly they needed to have their share of marijuana beforehand. Uh, the use of language in the lyrics comes naturally. It was originally written in Spanish, and the song was sung primarily by native Spanish speakers, which makes it a common place among those that sang it. Pancho Villa's soldiers were Yankee, Yaqui Indians, and were very fond of smoking motas, which are marijuana cigarettes. It is thought that the term marijuana originated with the soldiers of Villa's army. Pancho Villa himself is also said to have smoked marijuana before going into battle. A simile from the original verses is all the girls in Mexico are pretty as a flower, while an analogy is when a fellow loves a maiden and a maiden doesn't love him. It is the same as when a bald man finds a comb on the highway. This has been all for Culture Cast's La Cucaracha. Thank you for joining us. Adios. de donde son los dorados para mujeres Jalisco para mar toditos lados pasará peste o cartiche de donde son los dorados para mujeres Jalisco para mar toditos lados la cucaracha, la cucaracha ya no puede caminar porque no tiene, porque le falta marihuana que fumar la cucaracha, la cucaracha ya no puede caminar Marihuana que fumar, ya murió la cucaracha, ya la llevan a enterrar, entre cuatro sopilotes y un ratón de sacristán, ya murió la cucaracha, ya la llevan a enterrar, entre cuatro sopilotes y un ratón de sacristán, la cucaracha, la cucaracha, ya no puede caminar, porque no tiene, porque le falta, marihuana que fumar, la 